So a company by the name of Kalfa Solar, I think that's pronounced correctly, C-A-L-P-H-A, Kalfa Solar, sent me some 200 watt monocrystalline rigid panels to upgrade my uh, solar system on my off-grid workshop. They sent me uh, four of them to, to do an array. So I've, it's just out of the shop, but I've got four 100 watt Renergy solar panels. So theoretically, if I mounted four of these panels, I would double the wattage of, or the capacity of my uh, solar array. I'm pretty darn excited about it. <laughs> and since they sent these to me, I've actually got arrangements of, hopefully if all goes well, I'm gonna be moving to a new location within a month or so. So I don't wanna mount these permanently, but I do, I'm excited enough. I, would, I do wanna open these up and we'll have a real good look at them. Look at some of the specs, some of the uh, some of the features of these panels because I think they're pretty pretty good panel from what I've read on the uh, Calpha Solar website, calphasolar.com. I'll put all the links and info in the in the description of this video. If they give me a coupon code, I'll put a coupon code down there for you if you're interested in in these panels for your own off-grid workshop or own off-grid solar system setup. But let's have a look at these things. It's a pretty big box. It's not quite double the dimensions of the 100 watt Renergy, like I've got one right here mounted behind me. Uh, just one 100 watt solar panel. These are 12 volt panels, 200 watts. And I'm just trying to open this box <laughs> so I can pack them back up when I move. They look like they're very well packed. Nice piece of foam in there. The panel is in a plastic bag. Nice corner supports. To prevent damage and these are rigid panels as I said before and they have tempered glass non corrosive frame I believe it's aluminum these are colored black so they do have a really I think a pretty pleasing look to them it's almost a two-person operation getting them out of this packaging Maybe I should have unboxed them first so you guys didn't have to watch this. But anyway, it's all part of the fun, right? So I can call it an unboxing video. It's pretty cold out here, even though it looks nice and bright and sunny. It's a cold winter day in Colorado and it's uh, just barely above freezing, about 32 Fahrenheit, which is good for solar. The solar operates better at cooler temperatures. Calpha. Cool, they got a nice logo up here. I'll show you a shot of that here in a second. Let me get rid of this box. These Kalfa 200 watt rigid solar panels have um, MC4 connectors, so they're pretty much compatible with pretty much any other system as far as connecting the panels together or connecting them to your, to your solar charge controller. So that's a bonus feature in my book. Everything I use in my system is, is all MC4 connectors. Now let's take it out of the bag here. And if I remember correctly, uh, reading, these panels have 10 bus bars and diodes, which are to help prevent power loss. If you have a cell that goes bad, let me tip it up so you can have a better look at the panel itself. If you have a panel go bad or if you have shading, like from a tree branch or if it's on an RV, sometimes that air conditioner on the RV roof will shade part of your panel or parcel shading. So that's supposed to degrade the output. But with the diodes, I think there's 10 diodes installed if I remember right. You guys can check the the technicalities on that information on the website I'll, I'll, with those links I'll put in the description. It already has pre-drilled holes in the back here for for ease of mounting where you can put little little feet and you can get those separately. It, it appears that it doesn't come with the mounting feet. I did not use mounting feet on my particular solar array. I just went through those pre-existing holes with bolts and washers. And this would be almost a direct bolt-on, except for it is a different size. It says Calpha right here at the top, looks really sharp. It's got a plastic film all the way around to keep from scratching up this black frame. Looks like some instructions. Rigid solar panel, 
model SPR200 user manual. Let's see what they got here. 200 watt rigid solar panel, monocrystalline silicon cell, 200 watts rated power, 17.1 operation voltage, 11.7 operation current. And then you've got a couple of open circuit, which means if it's not connected to anything, you just put a meter on the leads. 20.1 volts open circuit and short circuit current 12.3 amps. MC4 connectors IP68 rated and my understanding of the IP68 is this box where the wiring connects to the panel is rated for rain and moisture not necessarily submersion in water but should be protected for outdoor use. Gives you the dimensions 57.5 length 30.3 in width and 1.4 inches thick. So real low profile thin panel and that weighs 26.2 pounds. My plan is when I get set up at the new place I'm going to connect four of these in, a, in an array and I'm going to wire them in series. So I'll have a total of 48 volts. 48 volts, 800 watts. That's a pretty good size array. Looks, looks pretty darn nice. Lots of plastic to pull off here. I'm going to leave that on until I get it transported to the new location so I don't scratch up this nice black frame. I'm going to lean it up against the wall here and connect it, but it'll be interesting to see what kind of numbers we get on that. It's got all that information that I just read to you marked on the back of the panel itself. A couple of twist ties here holding all the wiring to the back. These are probably two and a half feet, maybe 30 inches. All right, let's have a look at the construction. Nice corner, corner braces on there, protectors. Here you can see some of the plastic that has a plastic film on it that needs to be pulled off, but it's to protect the side. And then you can see some of the holes. Here's the grounding lug, pre-drilled and marked holes for the uh, brackets that you can use for mounting if you want to go that route. Some drain holes here to keep it from containing water inside. That's, that's like a piece of C channel that's hollow underneath on the backside so you can get to the nuts for the mounting. And here's the module that's IP68 rated with your positive and negative wires coming out of it on the back there. MC4 connectors. And here's the uh, label that I was telling you about. You can pause it here if you want to have a closer look at that. And then the back is just, just all black. Let me flip this over. And here's a look at the, the panel itself from the front. Nice, very, very tidy and neat looking monocrystalline panels. And then they've got a nice Calfa logo at the top of the panel in the center. Very nice looking panel. All right, here we got the setup. Got the Calfa Solar 200 watt rigid monocrystalline panel connected to the wiring that goes inside the off-grid workshop. Let's go look at those numbers on the uh, screenshot of the app, and see what's going on. Okay, here's what we have with the Calfa Solar panel, the 200 watt. We're showing 18.2 uh, volts, 4.34 amps, and the solar power is 79 watts. Even though it has full sun, it's not at the optimal angle. So it's really hard to uh, gauge this unless you've got a perfect orientation to the sun with no shadows. And Anyway, I mean, it works. It'll be interesting to see what we get when we connect four together in an array, connect it up to the system and give it a go. Anyway, that's a look at the Calfa 200 watt rigid panels. Um, if you're interested in getting more information about it or or uh, maybe looking for panels for your off-grid solar setup. I'll leave the links in the description so you can go check it out and get a little more information and detail out of it from the calfa.com website. They seem to be reasonably priced in my opinion um, in comparison to others that I've seen and uh, so far so good. I like the panels. Construction looks good packaging was excellent and it'd be really 
really neat to see once I get a, a full whoa, system set up to see how, how they do in a full array working together in the sun, angled properly and all that good stuff. But uh, potential for doubling the solar power for my off-grid needs. If you want to check out more of my off-grid workshop videos and see what I've got my current setup at, I will leave uh, some links in the description. You can go check out those videos or at the end of this video. Matter of fact, you can click the video on the screen now if you want to go check out another one of them. I'll just link it right there where it's quick and easy for you to find. And we'll see you over there.